Hey, how y'all doing today? Welcome to Elle's Kitchen. Today, I am going to be making some Cornish hens actually stuffed with some serious dirty rice. So let's get started. Today, we want to just start, start prepping our, our Cornish hens. So watch what I do. First of all, we want to base it with a little bit of oil. And we want to get that oil on there because that's going to hold in our seasoning once we start putting that seasoning in there. Now, keep in mind, I've already cleaned these. I, I let them sit in some salt water and vinegar, cleaned them up really good there. Okay, so now we get that really oily there. And now we're going to go ahead and get some seasoning on those. We'll go ahead and start basing that with that seasoning of Tony Cheshire's. And the thing about it, you want to do both sides, okay? So I go ahead and as I'm doing this, I'll do both sides because I know I don't want to miss anything. And then we're going to stuff the inside with some of the same seasoning, okay? So we got our lemon pepper, paprika, got your black pepper. I've already cut up my, my veggies. That's my red peppers. We have the green peppers. And then we have our onions. Okay. And so now what we want to do, we want to go ahead and season our, our veggies as well. Again, with the lemon pepper, we're going to go ahead and season that as well with that's Tony Chester Hees right there. That's some good stuff. Go ahead and put some more lemon pepper in there. The more, every time you put seasoning on something, whether it's the side dish or your veggies or your hamburger meat or the rice, it's still blending in constantly. And so that way, when you put everything together, you're gonna to get a really good flavor. You're gonna get a really good flavor from everything that you end up cooking there, okay? So we're gonna let that, just get a little lucent in there so that way, it's uh, turn my fire down a little bit. Okay, we'll let that cook. So while that's doing that, we want to come back over here. The trick to the um, golden hens, <laughs> I want to call them golden hens because they're going to be golden when I finish. But these are Cornish hens. And so I take a piece of butter and you always want to stick, you can stick the butter right in here. Okay, that butter is going to soak through and it's going to be really, really delicious once they get in there. Okay, so I'll put the butter in. Each one should have a little slit you can go, just go right to the top and just slide that butter right inside there. Okay, so that butter is just going to melt all inside and you're going to get all that flavor inside. Okay, so while that, while that's there, okay, it sounds like that's cooking up a storm over there. So let's go back and just, you don't want to burn these, but you want to get them pretty good. So that way, when you're ready to put everything else in together, it's going to really just blend in there, but you don't want a hard onions or hard um, red peppers. You want them kind of soft, okay? So the next thing, I have two more pieces of butter. These butters are going to go right inside the cavity right there. We're going to stick those right inside, okay? Along with that, we'll go ahead and add some more seasoning inside, okay? Put that seasoning inside, lemon pepper, Tony Cheshire's, and some paprika. And we have our ground beef because we're going to make some dirty rice. Okay, so we can just let that stay there for a minute. I'm going to go ahead and grab one more skillet here. And then we'll go ahead and start some of our ground beef. I prepared this halfway already for you guys. So that's pretty much ready. I'll turn that on. All right. That smells pretty good. I think at this point we need smell-o-vision because that's you, you guys can smell this. This is awesome. So the rice is pretty much done here. And by the way, uh, for those people that's out there, you think you have to have a major big kitchen? You don't have to have a major big kitchen. I want you guys to understand one thing simply is that you can cook anywhere and make a very good dish. It doesn't matter you know, whether you're in a big mansion or you're just in the Compton or the Watts or wherever. I could be at the Watts Tower and I'm gonna make this work for you, okay? Look, I'm not a chef, I just like to cook. So right now, we're gonna go ahead and we need a bigger skillet because we're gonna add some more stuff to this dirty rice, okay? And we're gonna about to make this happen. 
We have the ground beef and the veggies sitting there waiting on the rice right now. So we're going to add our rice. Keep in mind, I have a rice cooker. You don't have to do it this way with the rice cooker. But I'm going to tell you a trick to my rice, how it comes out so fluffy like that. Oh, my God, look at that. Oh, I can smell it. Uh, so the key is the bouillon I was telling you about, you put some bouillon in there, whether you're doing it in a rice cooker or in a pot, bouillon and butter at the bottom of that. And that gives you the flavor of the rice. Man, I'm telling you, when I was growing up, I did not like rice. I, you couldn't get me to eat no white rice at all. And my mom, boy, white rice and liver was one of the meals that she made all the time. I'm like, no, mom, I don't want that. But once I started cooking a little bit and I started adding my own kick to the rice, man, I'm telling you, I'll eat rice in a minute. Shrimp fried rice, I get up in the morning and make some... Uh, um, some shrimp and rice and the grits. Oh God, look at that. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so what we're doing now, and keep in mind I'm going to season this one more time with a few things, and that's going to be great, okay? All right, so like I said, the, the chicken is sitting there getting ready for us. I'm going to put a little bit of, this is some more Tony stuff, Tony Chesteries that is. Okay, if you like Tony's, I've got a bunch of stuff. This is Tony Slap Your Mama. Yeah, and if you go to my website, lsfamouschili.com, uh, we've got some other we've some other good things out there on um, for chili. Preheating my oven right now to 420. Okay, we're preheating the oven. Okay, and so what we're gonna do? This is gonna be stuffed Cornish hens sitting on a bed of rice, and the Cornish hens are gonna lay on top of this bed of rice. And so all your veggies in there, ooh, man, I could just eat it like that. Good Lord. Okay, so now what I want to do is go ahead and start stuffing these. Okay, let me make a little room, okay, in my little kitchen. But keep in mind, this is Elle's famous kitchen. So everybody's going to have a good time tonight. Once you come over and eat, so we're just stuffing it in the chicken, right in the cavity there. We're going to stuff that, and man, once that butter hits and go in there, and you, this is not something that you're just going to be, oh, I'm going to be nice and neat. No, you stuff that stuff in there. So we'll take the rest of, all the rest of our rice. We'll go ahead and put it in our little pot here. Okay, and we're going to spread it all out evenly. Okay, get that like that. basically is go ahead and set that these hens right on the top of that just like that okay and then all the rice that we have left throw it on top of there there you go you don't want to let nothing go to waste all right oven has been preheated to 450 actually 425 I have my carrots carrots gonna give it some more flavors just gonna stick it right in there I'm going to put about four of them in here, and the same with the other. I'm going to stick those carrots in there. And these, I, I bought these little mini carrots. You can have the big ones too, and you can just slice them up. But since they were already pretty much cooked and done, I just stuck them in there. Also, I'm going to lay a few around the bed of the rice like that. Then you have your celery. The celery gives you, you'd be surprised how much, what celery really gives you some really good flavor. Sticking all that in there too, just like that. I'm going to add a little bit of parsley flakes to that bad boy. Yeah, buddy. And so you put this in the oven and we're going to give it about 45 minutes and let that chicken get brown and well done. And then we're going to see the final results. Look at that. Here we go. Into the oven you go. But right now we're going to add a little chicken broth around that that whole bed because that way it's going to give it a little bit more flavor and it's not going to stick to your pan. It looks good. I think it's, it's doing this thing. All right, we'll be back in about 40 minutes. All right, we're back and it's been about 40, 45 minutes and we're going to take this out and see what we have going on here. Oh, that looks delicious. Oh my goodness. Smells good too. Okay, so we've got two great Cornish hens. We're going to let that cool off for a little bit. And um, that's going to be our final meal for today. Let's see. 
See how that's still moist, and that's what that that chicken broth does in there. It keeps it moist so it's not sticking. So that's gonna be good. We let that sit for a while. Oh yeah, look at that meat. Oh yeah, that's juicy in there. Okay, all right, give me a second. I'm gonna make a plate and we're gonna be ready to chow down. All right, let's see. Let's cut into this bad boy and see what we have. Oh, look at that. The juice is really pouring out of there. Hmm. And then you add a little bit of rice on there, a little bit of more chicken. Okay. That's really tender, too. Okay. Let's see. Let's taste that. Hmm. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh. That's heaven. All right, look, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and enjoy this meal. Tune in next week. We'll have another video. Hit the subscribe button down there. Check out my website, ellsfamouschili.com. We're located in Inglewood. I'll see you guys next time. Enjoy.